Welcome to the Home Button Podcast. Yeah, I missed last week and the week before. Did I miss? What day is it? What month is it? I think I missed. Let me check my schedule here. What a fantastic introduction because here's here's the secret. Here's a secret to success. You can't care at all ever at any waking moment. Let's see, that was two weeks ago. Yeah, I missed two weeks. <sighs> wow. I don't have any plan at all to talk about anything today. And yet it's still going to be a fantastic podcast because here's, I, I'm not lying when I say stop caring. Maybe this is only advice for me, but like when I care about things, I start to worry then I start to overthink and then I mess things up. That's what happens. Don't do that anymore. Just, unless, well, I don't know. Everyone's different. You can just, just do it and see what happens first and then worry about it. Okay. If you get all worked up about failing, then you're never going to do anything. Okay. If you don't have the courage to climb, you'll never get the banana. You know, what's that saying? If you want the courage, you'll never get the tree banana. What is that? Is that how that goes? If you don't have the courage, you will never reach the banana if you do not have the courage to climb. My five-year-old monkey told me that. He was raised on a farm. And it was, it's something I've lived by since then. Anyway... I have, here's a little warning. I drank a little bit of coffee. Okay. I just chugged it real fast because I got this dark roast donut flavor. Mmm. That is so good. Dark roast donut flavor. Now I'm tweaking. Ugh. I guess I, I, it's not even gone. I might as well drink it all. Ah. You ever think people who slurp all their drinks, do they just have like, a stomach ache all the time because I feel like you're going to get air bubbles trapped in there, you know? Ugh. People who slurp their cereal. <sighs> I hope they rot in hell. I hate those people. I cannot stand being in a room with someone slurping their cereal. You don't have to slurp it. What do you just put the spoon in your mouth and you're good? <laughs> disgusting. It's, you know, why it's disgusting because it's unnecessary. Unnecessary things are disgusting. What is gross about the sound, though? You know, I used to know someone who would get grossed out by uh, nail clippers. You're cutting your nails. I don't have to leave the room. Why? I don't like being controlled. Listener, I don't like it. Can't even cut my own fingernails in my own home. I'm living with someone who, oh, I don't like the sound. You know that it's just metal clicking together, right? It, there's it, it, your nail. That's not actually really the sound of your nail getting cut. That's just the metal snapping. Okay. Contact between metal is disgusting to you. So now, now I could, what well, I just never cut my nails. How do you cut your nails? Oh, you don't. Hmm. Okay. This is, I shouldn't gossip. Shouldn't gossip. I don't like it. I don't like gossiping. How do you not cut your nails? Right? Oh, oh, you chew them off? What about your toenails? Do you get someone else to do it for you? <laughs> okay. Anyway, I want to talk about something. I have a vague idea of what I want to talk about today, and that's streaming. Okay. Because people are asking me, you know, and they're, they're not, not all of them are asking, oh, the warning. First of all, the reason the coffee is a warning is because it's going to make me like s -s -s stutter and s -s stumble. You know what I mean? So I just, it's, just, it's giving me that feeling right then at that moment. That was a, if I didn't drink coffee, I wouldn't have done that. I ordered some gamer subs today. What flavor was it? Ah, yes. Anime girl thigh flavor. <laughs> it's orange. <laughs> it's orange mango flavor or something. It's orange something. <laughs> I'm I'm looking forward to what that's going to taste like, you know. Because that's why, okay. 
at first I was like, is this what is what is this sweat flavor? What other flavors do they have here? Gamer farts? That's a real flavor. I was so shocked. I'm not even making that up. They have like fart flavor. Are people buying that? What is it? Like maybe it's obviously this isn't going to taste like a thigh, but also who's buying fart gamer supplements? You mix it with your, it's, it's like G fuel, right? There's a lot of chatter outside. I don't like that. Here's another thing I want to talk about before I get into the main topic, which is something about streaming. We'll get to that. Uh, I, I don't like living with other people. I don't even like when there's people outside. What are they doing out there? They're just being rowdy. One time, I got an Amazon package, and I didn't want to go get it because it was just like four kids outside. You know, you if you and you leave the front door and there's like a sidewalk that goes to like the main sidewalk, right? And they're just standing there. Like, I don't want to be an old guy and say get, go away. <laughs> but like, I don't know. If I were they were like how old were they? Like 13 or something. If I were with my group of friends when I was 13, we probably would have like um we probably would have tried to pressure each other into stealing whatever package was on that porch, you know, but they seemed innocent enough. But I was like, if I were standing with my, like, okay, today, I would never stand in front of a house that has an Amazon package in front of it because it looks like, it looks like I'm plotting to steal it. You know what I mean? Whatever. Man, you know what sucks, dude? Porch pirates. How low do you have to be, really? So you can steal dark roast donut flavored Keurig pods? What if you don't have a Keurig? And then, like, most of the time, it's just going to be useless to you, you know? People just like the thrill of stealing. Go to Walmart if you want to do that, you know? Ugh, annoying. One time I had a sign. For the U- I had a sign for the delivery for the UPS man. For Smash Brothers Ultimate, that's what it was. Why? You know what happened? I missed it. I missed it. I got a note that said, oh, you weren't here. <laughs> Why is this the one time I got to I got to leave the, the, the gotta, gotta, gotta wait for the guy? I didn't even know that was a thing. So then I had to go to the store. And then like a day or two later, now I have two Smash Ultimates. So I sold that to my brother. Luckily, instead of returning it. Stupid. Never had to sign for it again. And I ordered a television one time. A big television. Guess what I didn't have to sign for? And I just left it out there, right? That's fine. But like, why is it so rowdy outside? I know you can't hear it. I use AI upscaling for this. It cuts out all that stuff. It probably cuts out all my burps too. Weird. It's like a block party happening. I mean, what is it, Friday? I'm going to go over there and tell them to turn the damn music down. People are trying to record podcasts here. It's 11 p.m. That's prime podcast time. Oh, you can tell I have coffee. I am tweaking. It's not even... (laughs) That's not even like a good, funny voice. Generic, boring, bad podcast. Well, this is the average solo podcaster experience. It's like, what is this guy talking about? This guy needs... This guy needs checked checked up on... This guy needs less coffee, that's all. Anyway, main topic here. We're the main course, all right? I need water. I don't feel good. I, this is why you got to get gamer subs instead of coffee. <laughs> okay, I do like this. And it's dark roast, which is good for your kidney or whatever. Ah, main topic. Streaming. People often ask me, or even just make comments like, Tev, when are you going to stream again? We miss you so much. You don't stream anymore. You've streamed once in the past year. What happened? You used to stream all the time, like once every two weeks. What happened? Well, I appreciate you being a 
loving, loyal theorist, but <laughs> why, do I, why do I, why do I call people that? Because it, it's funny. That's why loyal theorist. That doesn't make sense for me, but it's funny. That reminds me. Put a pin on that. Try to put a pin on that brain. Don't talk about it now because it's not relevant right now. I should have a I should have a podcast with myself talking to myself back and forth. Oh, that'd be so easy for me. Anyway, my loyal theorists, they keep they keep asking, please, we miss you so much. We miss seeing you and chatting with you. Uh, I'm just joking about the voice. That's a that's a parody of Ninja. He or any big streamer. Like you can tell they really don't value their viewers when they start doing that voice. Not even with, I'm doing it to make fun of this. You know, I'm doing it uh, to make to, to to be a parody. Okay, this isn't like I'm not serious right now. Okay, but I love doing that because it just it always comes out of nowhere. It's just completely. It's so disrespectful, right? It just blindside anybody. Please. We love you and we want to see more of you like the, the, because the people who watch you and they care about what you do. That's like you, you can tell you take that for granted. If you, if you start impersonating your viewers like that unironically, such as Ninja, who's a has been loser, by the way, of course, what did he ever do? What makes him special? Go to Fortnite. Wow. That's crazy, dude. You know, what What makes anybody actually special? Special, that's like a, that's just a concept. You know, that's just a vague, hard to define label, special. Everybody actually is special, you know. And maybe maybe some propagandists, they want to tell you that, uh, this, you know, society is crumbling because everybody believes they're special. But everybody actually is you know, if, if everybody's special, then no one is. That's actually not true. Everyone's also unique. There's actually an alarming amount of people who are not unique, and I don't like those people. That's, I contradicted myself there, but I can't stand bland, boring. Like, have a single thought for yourself. I hate those people. Sheep? Oh, I was just thinking this. I haven't got to the main topic yet. Um, People who say... Uh, Pineapple on pizza is a crime against humanity. Let me tell you the problem with that. You can like and dislike whatever you want on your pizza. And to a degree, you can criticize other people too. If somebody puts pickles on their pizza, I'm going to say, what's wrong with you? Get those off that pizza. You know, pickles are fine. I pickle, I, they're not my favorite, but like, don't put them on a damn pizza. Pineapple on pizza guess what? That's actually good. If you don't think it's good, that's fine too. That's my point. But it's when people say, it's not when they share they don't like it. It's when they say the exact phrase. It's a crime against humanity. Like that, you're just, you're self-reporting. Okay. You're letting everybody know who just heard you say that you don't, you are a lemming. You can't think for yourself. You're a sheep. You're a follower. You're a disgrace. Do you know what I mean? It's a crime against humanity. Are you saying it to be funny? Because it's not really funny. It, that hasn't really been funny more than once. The first time you hear, because it's such a big overstatement, putting something on a pizza, crime against humanity. Okay, that's that's funny. That's a little sensationalist. It's, you know, exaggerating. But then it's like, okay, enough, right? Enough with the jokes. It's like, do you actually, it seems like you actually are starting to think that it's actually bad, but it's not. It's just a pizza topping and a pretty good one at that. You know, it's, it's a big like, uh, argument, you know, people fight over it, but they don't fight over it because it matters. You know, people create this, this, uh, this the the invention of disagreement. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't have to be a thing. It's like, ugh, Twizzlers or Red Vines. Like, no, we are a Red Vine family. Ew, you eat Twizzlers? 
It's the same fucking stuff, dude. It's the same stuff. It, they taste almost the same. It's, and that's another thing. It's like, what, it's, is it a joke because they're so similar? And don't tell me that they're different. I know they're different. Personally, if you gave me one, if I did a taste test and I had to guess, I don't think I'd be able to tell. I don't eat either that much. They're both not that good, you know? What, the, what I mean by invention of disagreement, it's like we don't need to, that's not a, a topic to fight over, okay? Xbox versus PlayStation, right? Sega versus Nintendo. Uh, other made-up things, you know? It's just, they're not actually related. Cats or dogs. Um... You can like, but they're not actually opposites. They're not actually foils to each other. Do you know what I'm saying, listener? Do you understand what I mean? I know I don't make a lot of sense. I can't tell when I make sense. I can't tell when I do good or bad. Okay? I have no idea. I have no scope of that. I can't tell. <sighs> anyway, <laughs> I didn't want to talk about all that streaming why haven't i been streaming because i stopped because i suck at it i don't like it okay and uh i I, i'm not looking for compliments i'm not looking for reassurance if you told me yeah you did suck i'm glad you stopped because it seemed like you were wasting time that would be better to me i don't want to hear no i thought no you were good i don't care well I care, I care about be, like the nice comments, but it's not going to change anything. I can barely read <laughs> because, well, I swear my dyslexia has gotten worse. I, I don't know. Um, like, it's just all this reading and like, ugh, I get all drained from it, you know? And then like, I'd rather put that time towards making a video instead you know i'm better at making videos than streaming i don't think i'm a good streamer you know i just i don't think i'm built for that kind of pace that pacing is just not for me and there's a lot of reasons okay let's say i was equally good at streaming and making videos i'm not saying i'm, I'm I, I would never say i'm good at anything okay because i'm a modest person i have a thing called humility yes I have this thing called false humility. Yeah, that's where you pretend. Okay, that's where you pretend to have imposter syndrome. Yeah, I have that. Yeah, that's a real condition I made up. Okay, all conditions are made up. Okay. What was I saying? Something about... what I actually forgot. Dyslexia is made up. What was I saying? No, that's not what I was saying. I was saying... Mm, what was I saying? <laughs> I completely forgot. Streaming, bad. Let's say, okay. Yeah, right, 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 right. I'm equally good. I would pick making videos. Because there's something a little bit disturbing to me. Um, as a faithless man, what do you have? You only have your legacy, you know? I'm not, I'm not playing Pikmin and making Pikmin videos to be more immortal, okay? But I like the idea of always having a piece of you exist for forever and always. But a stream, okay, I, forever and always, or just in a year. Let's use that as an example, okay? This is, I'm not Steve-O from Jackass saying, hey, you know, some people believe in God, and some people, they they get kicked in the balls by a giant, Boo, you know, that's just what I do. I want to be remembered. I just want to be remembered for. All right, Steve-O. You know, you can put a jellyfish on your head and uh, almost die and all that stuff, but that's that's not really the comparison I'm making right now. I'm just saying in a year, two, three years, a stream that you did three years ago, that's, what is that now, you know? What is that? You know what I mean? What what did that amount to? It's gone. It's almost just in the void, especially if you don't like back up your streams. Twitch doesn't do that. YouTube does, but like 
I streamed three years ago one time. I don't. What did that do? It's it, you have to keep building onto it. You know, if you just take a break from streaming, like that's harmful. You know, you always need to worry about what's next, and you need to be consistent and have a schedule. I'm not good at that. I decided to just accept that I'm not good at that. You know, because I, 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 there's things I need to do in the week. You know, but like I just, I, 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 I'm, I, I'm, a, I'm an, I'm a nomad. I'm a brain nomad. I can't do anything. You know, what is that? Is is that a sign of ADHD? I don't think I have that to be honest. I'm not a self-diagnoser, although I'm not diagnosed with dyslexia, to be fair. But at the same time, I also can't fucking read half the time. And I know that's not what dyslexia is, but man, the, the amount of mistakes I make, dude. It's, it's, uh, if I went to a doctor to get diagnosed with dyslexia, okay, it doesn't matter what their result is, I'm still going to be just as bad. It's it's not that I'm bad at reading. I'm bad at discerning certain letters. I can read just fine. I was going to say the proofreading. I'm very bad at. I'm very bad at proofreading and identifying exact letters and words. That's what it is, you know. It all comes down to when I was a child. Because the reason I talk about it is cuz I, I I know people who follow my stuff or even just lurk in the in the in the official tin hot home button podcast discord server um i talk about it more than most people do because i found out recently well i or i just accepted it you know because let me tell you the story when i was a kid did i tell this in the, i don't know if people know this story i can't remember i'll just say it again anyway and not spend half the podcast saying did i say this like i have for like the past five okay i've probably only done five what episode is this? This is the fifth. <laughs> so the past four. Anyway, well, the past three, because one of them was the first one, genius. Anyway, when I was a child, I asked somebody, an adult, I think it was a teacher, maybe a substitute, substitute teacher or like an older relative or something. I was a child and I said, what's dyslexia? I just found out what it was. You know, what is this? What is that? What does that mean? Right? Because kids ask lots of questions. So whoever this adult was, it described it in such a way. They said, I remember this vividly. Oh, it's when you're trying to read a book and all the letters, they're flying off the page. You're jumping all around. Okay. Well, I don't have that. And that was the end of it until, I don't know, three years ago or something. Or it's just like, I, I, I just have to accept the fact that uh, I'm dyslexic, you know, because then um, it must have been a little after high school, like literally as an adult, I, well, no, that's not true. I'm trying to remember at some point I found out, oh, it was from George Lopez. I think, <laughs> I don't know. At some point I found out dyslexia isn't that exaggerated, you know? Because I was thinking, like, oh, there's no way. Jumping off the page. I hope it wasn't a teacher. Because that's just embarrassing. A teacher should have. I wish. I wish they said, hmm, why? Do you think you have it? Let's see if you have it, you know? Because uh, I got glasses. This is, like, a similar situation where I got glasses in high school. But I definitely needed glasses in fifth grade. Absolutely in sixth grade. I'm assuming fifth grade, maybe even fourth. But I remember I put on my friend's glasses in sixth grade and it, everything was clear. Oh, wow. The leaves. You can see the leaves on trees. I didn't know that. I just forgot over time, you know. Uh, didn't get them till high school. So... I don't know. Maybe teachers didn't pay attention to me. I just couldn't see or what? What was happening there? I must have just squinted really hard. I don't know. Um, ah, I don't know. Man, I, teachers, I know for a fact they didn't pay attention to me because they would always call me the wrong name. And uh, one time I went in the wrong class. 
One time I went in the wrong class for an entire class period. This was like the first week of school in some year in high school. I went in and I was like, oh, I'm in the wrong class. And I realized that like uh, 10 minutes in. I think they took attendance and I, ne- I never came up. And then I looked at my schedule. Oh, I'm definitely in the wrong class. I will just stay quiet until <laughs> until lunchtime. Then we all went to lunch, and then I didn't. You're okay. The the periods were a little weird. Like depending on the lunch period, you would leave the class and then go back to that class instead of. Uh, it depends. I don't know. It's weird. But instead of going back to that class, I just went to the class I was supposed to go to. <sighs> wow. I was just a smart, bright, young mind. And current mind. Anyway, um, when I was a child, I uh, had uh, Nintendo Power. And I uh, was reading the cheat codes to Animal Crossing on the GameCube cheat codes they were just a bunch of letters and numbers and symbols on a little screenshot in a magazine i couldn't i couldn't discern the letters because again i can read this is also the case with uh smash custom stages this is the thing that finally made me accept it you know because there's little id codes right to the stages and i have someone from the discord server when i used to re-upload them on like a regular three-month basis their name is Lil timmer uh, they, I would, ha- I would upload all the stages and then they would send me the ID stages or the, the IDs, right? And I would copy and paste them and update them instead of me getting the IDs. Cause it was that like, just, it was frustrating. It was that frustrating to read that many, what, eight characters, ID codes 15 times. It was that frustrating where I'm just not going to do it or I'm going to have someone help me. And they offered nice guy. I, I give him as much recognition as I can because that's all I can really give. I don't upload stages anymore. Well, I do, but just, you know, randomly. And I don't, I don't, up, I don't post the coats anywhere because that's too hard. That's too hard for me. So anyway, I was in Animal Crossing as a child, looking at these codes, sweating. I was sweating, staring at this code, like, and and looking back at the TV, like, no, this is right. Then you put in the code, it tells you, no, that's wrong. But I don't know. I'm looking at both these codes, and I can't tell what's wrong with it, you know? Does, Does it delete the whole code, make you type it in again? I can't remember. Some passwords do that, but passwords in games, because it's just a bunch of random letters numbers that was so difficult all the stick letters i can't stand the stick letters do you know what i mean any letter that has a vertical line dude like t or l or i or n or l or b or d or p or k a lot of them a lot of them do annoying so annoying i just got a flashback in kindergarten I mixed up my B's and D's, my lowercase ones. And uh, the teacher sent a note home. And what, they just thought it was a goof? Maybe. I'm sure lots of kids just have a goof. But I just wish, I just wish some teacher knew that I was dyslexic. You know, I wish somebody paid attention to me. And I felt like, ugh, when I'm tired, it's even harder. Huh. Whatever. I'm acting like I'm so tortured by this. It just It's just an annoyance. It's just like, man, I don't know. I wasn't was talking about streaming here. I was talking about streaming. The main topic here. You know what this is? There, this is not a normal podcast, okay? There's an A plot and a B plot, okay? It's like a Seinfeld episode. The main plot, the bread and butter of this is I, I want to talk about streaming. I, I like... The, the, the act of it, okay? Not just me uh, and everything else that comes in randomly. That's the B-plot, all right? Sometimes the B-plot's a little bit more fascinating. You know, what, what's George up to? What's, what's the George storyline? What's, what's Kramer doing, right? 
Did he kidnap that guy on the bus again with the severed thumb? You know, I was beating away the mugger. I was, I had to make all the stops, right? Remember, that's my Kramer impression. You kept making all the stops. Well, they kept ringing the bell, right? You kept making all the stops. Let's move on from that. Main topic, streaming. It's a little uh, disheartening. I think that's the word. I, I think I called it disturbing before. But it's just like, I don't like spending time on something and then it just disappears, you know? Because, yeah, yeah, it exists in the viewer's memory or whatever. It exists in my memory too and it sits there as a bod. Even if you have an archive channel or if you stream on YouTube, and it just sits there. But like, I'm not watching a bod. I'm not going to go back and and listen to that, like or watch it. You know, I, I like how I said listen instead of watch, because a lot of streams I just have in the background. People consider content um, first monitor content and second monitor content. You know, does it have your full attention or is it just kind of in the background while you're kind of doing something else? You know, like you can just be like sort of scrolling in Discord, and then you have something else just in the other tab. You know, or I call it. Uh, this is something I, I noticed um, uh, uh, some people do. Like some people, um, okay, let me let me tell you the categories that I, that I define it as like, uh, does it have, sorry. You know what's funny? With these podcast things, I would actually, uh, I would stop and when I would mess up, I would, uh, such as that, just like when I stumble such as this, where I haven't really said anything on topic in probably 10 seconds, I would, I would uh, cut it out, you know, but I don't do that anymore. I'm not doing that anymore. Okay. That's not my style. That's not the, that's not the tin tub love style nowadays. You know, you're sitting there suffering for it, but I got things I got to do. Okay. I got to play more Pikmin, I guess. I love Pikmin genuinely. Anyway, I just want to say I love it because it sounded sarcastic. Um, as everything I say sounds sarcastic. I had a comment to, uh, yesterday on a Pikmin 2 video. This is more B-plot, by the way. They said, uh, uh, the comment said, this actually sounded genuinely threatening or legitimately threatening. And with a timestamp. And I clicked this timestamp. And it was me just saying something about an interruption. Because Pikmin 2 has got a lot of interruptions. Don't come kill me because I criticize Pikmin 2, by the way. All right? There's a lot of interruptions. Okay, so basically, let me act it out with my voice. I said, uh, oh, look, we, we opened up a path here, so we got to do that. And then the, the ship interrupts you. And I said, oh, another interruption. That last thing I said was the thing that sounded genuinely threatening. How did it sound threatening? There's lots of parts where I am a little bit mad. I told uh, Colin in Pikmin 4, I'm going to fucking kill you. That, that sounded fake threatening. That, that's, that's theatrical threatening, right? No, not genuinely threatening. Of course. Because I just have that voice. You'll never meet someone worse at Among Us. I hate Among Us. Because my voice, something about it. I don't, it's like, it's, if, if I want to be believed, um, people think I'm lying. If I want to say a joke and let it be known that I'm joking in my, what I think is a sarcastic tone, people believe me. Unbelievable. I always get believed when I don't want, you know? I was in a Discord server and I thought it would be fun. I actually, I like to think of something funny and then post it in a few different servers to get. I love the reactions. Okay, I don't want people saying, "Oh, you're so hilarious." I like the reactions. So, I any mean, what I posted was uh, uh, <laughs> making me laugh. Now, I said, uh, "I'll just I'll read the official Tin Gang Discord server version of it." Here's the message. I just put this in the announcements channel. And it, this is this is like me. I'm trying to think of a sort of 
non-colorful way to describe what I'm doing. Ego boosting, inflating myself. But just sometimes I like the things I say. And I just want to point this out because it's important to the context, okay? Anyway, uh, let's see here. The message I wrote was, hello, everyone. This is Tevlev's mother. I regret to inform you all that earlier today, Tevlev went to take a nap, but he forgot to grab a blankie. So he got so chilly willy that he passed on. I must assume he and his voice memos were legendary here and universally loved. Podcast episode will be delayed one week, but he will continue as he gets better. Best, Tevlev's mother. That's just something. I posted that in a few different servers, right? Except without the podcast delay thing. Because I leave my voice memos everywhere. As if, if you're an avid listener of the Home Button Podcast, you already know that this is where this came from. You know, Again, I don't want to even make this po- whole podcasting, but I'm forced to by all my voice memo fans and my voice memo supporters. I try to be the best voice memo champion I could be. This is just a long voice memo, okay? How many times can I say voice memo? Uh, but yeah, people thought I was serious. People thought that that was actually my mother who came into the Discord server to say, I've died. Except, um, I would hope that if my mom found out I died and she went on my phone after I died, uh, let's say earlier today, I died that day because I got too cold. <laughs> because I didn't get a blankie. I didn't just get cold. I got too chilly willy and I passed on. Passed on is the funniest way to say someone died because it's so formal. Mixing this formal with saying chilly willy and blankie should let you know that I'm, this is not a serious post. And people were like, I can't tell if this is serious. Is he okay? You might think maybe I'm getting pranked. Maybe they, their response is a prank, but I don't think so. I don't think so. Uh. Anyway. Um, streaming, right. Uh, if, you, uh, if you make a video, a plot here. If you make a video, that's it. It's done. You know, here's an example. It's like if my movie, uh, whoops, I called them movies. If my videos, okay, you're going to see why I made that mistake, okay? I don't, if my videos are comparable to movies, see, and a stream is comparable to a stage play, you got to see that play live. Watching a recording of a play is not like seeing a play, you know? There's a reason people see plays and musicals and stage theater. There's a reason that's still a thing, right? Like movies didn't erase that, you know, I I don't think like they're comparable, but they're still different, you know, but I would still, I would always choose to make a movie than a stage play, you know? So my videos, it's like, or anyone's videos, like I, I just, I don't, I don't know, streaming. It just seems like you can't just stream. You got to do a bunch of other stuff, you know? And there was pressure, you know, as a, as a content creator. There's pressure to do other things. I just want to do YouTube. And uh, that's my main focus, you know? I'll put a, a shit post on Twitter, you know? And it's funny because people, if I think hard about a tweet or something, sorry, X, people don't... uh People don't even want that. They people want shit posts, you know. And I wanted, I want a shit post. It's a win-win. My videos are shit posts. Are, are they shit posts or are they movies? Can I make up my mind? Are they, are they cinema or are they uh, YouTubery videos? Uh, yes, it's cinema. Yes, it's art. Yes, it's uh. Probably it's comparable to Citizen Kane, I would say, uh, except better. It's like Citizen Kane, but good. I am, of course, talking about 
uh, Pikmin 1 was designed to be a psychological torture experiment. Yes, that is what I'm talking about. Yeah. That game was frustrating, to be honest. Uh, so was Pikmin 2. Dude, I don't want to talk about Pikmin 2. I'm scared. People will just defend it endlessly for no reason, even though the game is poorly designed. Whoops. It is. It's fun. It's a good game. But there's points that are just so low. It's just boring, you know? Well, that's a Don Dory issue, though. If if you don't want to wait, maybe you should plan out your your strategy a little better, okay? But what do you do when the entire cave is just a big straight line? A little bit of hyperbole there, but I'm not far off. Like in Snagger Hole, they're, they're randomly generated, okay? But I assume, I, I don't know, the one I got in the video, it's just a long, like basically a hallway, right? Except it's the grassy part. Okay. But it's designed to be just a long hallway. And then you got to get a strawberry all the way at the end. How do I not wait? Okay. And I did have a discussion with someone in the discord server. And I, I like these discussions because I get to learn more. Okay. They told me, uh, you, you should have brought white pigment. And I should have used ultra spicy spray. That's not a solution. The solution is for the game to be designed to eat. Are you, do you want to be a Don Dory multitasking efficiency game like Pikmin 1 and 4? Or do you want to be a dungeon crawler? Do you want to be Gauntlet or do you want to be Pikmin? You know what I mean? The Gauntlet part of Pikmin 2 is the best. That's what makes it unique as a Pikmin game and as uh, as a game, you know? There, I saw a funny meme that was, uh, it's the meme where uh, um, there's like a bunch of text on the left and then there's like uh, uh, like one line on the right. Okay, so it's, this is impossible to describe here. <laughs> it said, uh, there's a bunch of text explaining Pikmin fans, Pikmin 1 fans explaining why they like the game. It's a bunch of text. Pikmin 2 fans explaining why they like the game. It's just a picture of the Bulbin. The Bulbin. What are they called? Bulb. They have to be Bulbmins. Yes, Bulbmins. Like Pikmin. Well, they would be the Bulbmin then, not Bulbmins. Well, the plural of Bulborb is Bulborbs. So would they be Bulblin or Bulblins? That doesn't matter. That's the least relevant thing. That does not matter at all. So why don't you get on topic, buddy? Get back on the B plot and talk about this. This is more like C plot, to be honest. Anywho, um, the, the game, that's what I'm talking about. People don't like Pikmin 2 because it's well designed. All the shit that falls from the ceiling and kills you in one hit, like the bomb spiders, that's the good part. That's the part that is exciting. I like that. But I don't like the caves uh, when there's no enemies. You know, but the best strategy in Pikmin 1 is to play efficiently and smart and space everything out. Okay? In Pikmin 2, the safest thing to, to do as a player is to do it a little bit more slow and methodical. And, uh, um, you know, you can't take many risks because this is the type of game where, like, a again, like a bomb can fall from the ceiling if you're not looking at your Pikmin. So that discourages a player from splitting up their crew underground. Okay. Break down a wall and there's an egg, right? So it's you put some Pikmin by the wall and eventually they're going to break through and get that egg and you're going to wrap back around eventually. So you're going to get there. But they break down the wall. And they're breaking open the egg too, which takes like one hit, except a, like boulders fall, a bomb falls, a bomb spider falls, right? So, all right, as, as a player, then okay, I'm not going to do that. Uh, I don't know, but I'm not saying it's not fun. It's just parts where there are, there are lows to that game. Okay. I can see why someone would have it be their favorite because the highs are high too. This is that type of experience for you. That's just what if that's what you like. It's what you like. Pikmin Four should have a harder difficulty, but there you can kind of uh, kind of do that yourself. Because the Farlic, I I didn't think about this. I kind of want to try this. Just do uh, 
um, like a just, just don't get the farlic, you know? Because I want the oh, okay, I want the enemies to be harder, but I want to manage more at this. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't want to collect raw material slower. Like, that's not fun. But the enemies being harder is fun. And a lot of times, having more health in in a video game, like an enemy, sometimes they just do that. It doesn't really make it harder, technically. Do you know what I mean? They're just like damage sponges, you know? But in Pikmin, you can kill a lot of enemies just by ramming into them. They get stunned, and then all your pick your Pikmin jump on, and they kill it in like one hit. They don't even get a move out, you know what I mean? Because there were points in in the gameplay that aren't in the video where like a lot of times my first introduction to an enemy, I just kill it instantly. I, I don't see any of their moves. It's like the, at that point, it feels like you're kind of missing out. You can always say like you can you can make the game easy or harder. You make the game harder for yourself. So that way you don't complain anymore. I feel like that's the mentality with like Pokemon defenders. You know, it's like if I have to put in a bunch of things to make it harder, I'd rather it just like have an option, you know, because honestly, Pikmin 4 is it seems like the perfect difficulty if it's. The first Pikmin game you ever played, you know? It seems that way just from watching other people play it, but I don't know. Because if you go from Pikmin 2 to 4, you know, it's a cakewalk, you know what I mean? But uh, 4, it seems it seems like the perfect difficulty. But, I, but like I said, you can just get less far, like, which is also impeding yourself, but also the challenges are fun. Uh, I don't know. That's just a thought, okay? Don't just please stop hating me i can't deal with the hate anymore uh i'm just kidding i don't get enough hate comments i'm sure if you've made it to this random part in the podcast i know that you're probably a real one you wouldn't leave a hate comment i don't want i don't want you to make one up but it's fun to make fun of those people back because at the end of the day they're the sad one leaving a mean comment on a video about you know uh, Smash Brothers custom stages, you know. Uh, that's their loss, right? This is already like they they are on the fucking back foot. You know what I mean? Like they they don't have a good place to argue. But it is funny when you know I yeah I'm no stranger to leaving sarcastic comments. You know, if someone talks, okay. It's 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 a weakness. Okay, this is a vice of mine. All right. If it's like a tutorial or something, like I'm not watching it for entertainment. I'm watching it for information or because I need to know something and you're kind of wasting my time. I might leave a snarky comment. Not going to lie. It's too bad, but I I do it anyway. You know what I mean? Uh, One example is with um, just like if someone's intro is too long. And a tech tutorial, you never actually need an intro for your tutorial. You actually don't need it. You know, I actually, I don't need to be welcomed to a tutorial video and I don't need to know what it's going to be about because I read the title, I looked it up and all that. Don't ask me to subscribe. What's the point of me subscribing to a tutorial ch- like account that's like, why, why would someone look like if, if I get a video pop up in my feed? You know, I'm not going to be like, oh, maybe this seems like an interesting video. I'm going to learn how to unpack a WinRAR file today. I don't look that up. It's just the first thing I thought of because I saw the thing on my desktop. Okay, I, I know how to do that. All right. I just can't think of an example. I'm, I'm not perfect, you know. Another example. I just, I'm just not a perfect guy. I leave sarcastic comments, especially on TikTok. Oh, I leave a lot of sarcastic comments. I, I've gotten in the habit of just leaving more comments more often because it's funny sometimes, you know, especially if someone's being hateful. If someone's leaving a hateful video, I will, I'll reply with sarcasm, you know. Oh, you know, it really grinds my gears. I know I had like a whole podcast episode where I talked I think it was episode two where I was getting a little too real because I was sharing things I disliked uh 
about like the way people believe things. I feel like that's really bad to believe in like just the most insane things. Let me give an example. This would have been useful context back in that video. I mean, podcast audio episode. Yeah. Um, uh, I used to be close with someone who was uh, irrational, who believed in such delusions. Okay. Here, l- let me lay out the story for you. We had plans to go somewhere. And, uh, uh, I brought up something useful, some useful information that came from the weather app on my telephone. I said, I hope it doesn't rain. You know, that's that's a good thing to bring up because, you know, we, we might need a plan B because it's going to rain. The weather says it's going to rain. You know what I mean? Uh, and she said, uh, um, oh, I hope you don't jinx it, you know. Like, no, it's not going to rain. So we get to the we get to our plans and it rains and uh, it starts raining and she says, uh, <laughs> you jinxed it. I was like, oh, yeah, I jinxed it. No, this is your fault. If you didn't bring it up, it wouldn't have rained. You fucking jinxed it. What do I reply back with? There's no arguing there. You know what I mean? You can't. The only logical thing to say there is. I didn't jinx it because there's no such thing as jinxing, which is what I said. Because don't, don't don't yell at somebody like that for that reason. Because that's not actually a thing, and you are the one who should be embarrassed, you know? So, no, I told you about jinxing. It's your fault. Like it's it's beyond a joke at this point. You know what I mean? It's it was never a joke. Man, it's just not good. Cause then you you start yelling at people for jinxing things, you start buying crystals. Uh, you start cutting people out of your life because their birth month doesn't line up with you. And then you start thinking that people in the government are lizard people. You know, it's it's a gateway faith, right? It's a gateway belief. Okay? Am I crazy? If you believe that the planets have some invisible power energy field that can influence babies being born in September and destining them with their personality, then you can believe anything. Destining them? Is that a word? Destinying them. Yes. Yeah, that is a word. Yep. <sighs> what a world we live in. Oh, and the earth is flat. Because reasons. Ridiculous. I can't imagine thinking the earth is flat, but also thinking all the other planets are round. Why? Why? Of course, the government is against us, but they're not lizards, and they wouldn't lie about that, because that's stupid, because people can observe things on their own and find out thousands of years ago. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. And to think people who, they're flat earthers, and they think people who believe the earth is flat are a bunch of like, they think they are the sheep. Who like worship the government? You, no, it's so frustrating. That's obviously I will leave a sarcastic comment on your TikTok, buddy. If you start talking about that, yes, I'm gonna. I might even say that that's delusional, ridiculous, and idiotic because it is. You know, I'm just I'm doing my part. Honestly, I'm I'm helping society out by leaving these comments. Uh, Oh, a lot of celebrity cloning. I forgot. I, I don't want to get into all that because I already did that and I regretted it because it's just like, yeah, nobody wants to hear that. Nobody wants to sit there and listen because it's not fun, you know? Anyway. Yeah. I I don't know. I don't know. I kind of want some Pringles. I want to go buy some. Last time I went to go buy snacks, you know what happened? You know what happened to me? Something happened. I walked to the a nearby convenience store. I walked in, and yes, I, I was buying some alcohol too for an event that's coming up this weekend. Um, hanging out with my friends, okay? So I buy the alcohol, but I also buy um, honey buns. The icing honey buns, I love 
those so much. I had to buy two because they're so good, okay? So I get up there, and I, I know it's a goofy-looking order. So the, I get up there, and the guy, the guy who seemingly, there was another girl working there. Uh, what? There was a girl working there as well, and uh, she was like, she was up at the, at the at the cashier thing, and it seemed like he told her to like scoot away, you know. I don't know. Well, I don't know why he did that, right? So I finally pick what I wanted. I get up there, and he's like, "Huh, this is kind of a weird combination." Well, I don't, I don't want you to say that. I don't. I don't want to deal with all that right now. I know it's a weird combination. Just stop talking. <laughs> if I want to talk to someone, I'll go somewhere to talk to someone. I don't I don't want to go into a convenience store and buy a honey bun and alcohol to have a conversation, you know. So then he asks for my ID. Oh no, he doesn't ask for my ID. He asks for my birthday. Like, can I just I I tell him my birthday. He's like, "Okay, I, yeah, I just, I just needed to ask because you look young. Yeah. Oh my God! Stop hitting on me. This guy, he's he's hitting on me. He's batting his eyelashes and he's making little comments. Like I'm not going to engage in a conversation with you or anybody right now. I don't feel like talking. All right. I want to go home and eat my honey buns. Anyway, if you want to know what this guy looked like, because I I'm not even ever hit on the handsome guys. Okay. Girls are nice to me, but they don't think they hit on me unless I just am bad at picking up signals. But I, I can pick up a guy's intention very, very clearly. You know what I mean? Oh, I don't think I ever told my dentist assistant. No, he, no, he was a office guy at a, at a dentist. I don't think I ever told that story. I'll tell that later because that's just that's that guy broke the law for me. I didn't want him to. That's a different story. Anyway, uh, that that's for a different episode because it's long. Um, so this guy, if you want to know what he looks like, he was like this little squirrely looking guy. I'm just being mean. I'm hateful all of a sudden. Uh, look up uh, the, the it's, it's a funny show. It's called I Think You Should Leave. You know, that's that's a show with sloppy steaks, Tim Robinson and all that. Look up CalicoCutPants.com that sketch and he looks like the the guy in that the guy who dribbles on his pants it's a funny sketch anyway i just reckon it's a funny show uh, the driving crooner and all that um uh <laughs> that show was actually really funny it's got some funny quotes too uh i'm not worried about it there's worse shit on the local news you know that one or uh babysitter story that might be my favorite you shouldn't worry at all the cops said they don't even matter <laughs> look it up anyway i'm hungry i want some ramen i want some pringles and i kind of want to fudge around i kind of want to go to the convenience store buy a fudge round the other convenience store this this guy doesn't hit on me but he talks even longer the guy with the cowboy hat, you know you're going to be in for a conversation. Do you really need to talk about the the width of a fudge round? Oh, you know, they used to make these bigger, I swear. But a couple years ago, I these fudge rounds, they changed the sizes. You know, it's the size inflation. And the Cheerio box, they, they're half full now. They're, they're emptying all the food out. You get the Lay's potato chips. They're empty now. I swear I got one that had one chip in it. Shut up. Please. Please. I want to go home and eat my fudge round and Pringles. Please stop talking. And I, you know, he always says, hey, hi, hey, man, how you doing? When I walk in. Great. How are you? I'm doing amazing. Or at least I will be. I want to am when I get off. Okay. Now, I like, I just know when this, I know his whole schedule, his whole life routine now because he just tells me. I'm not asking for all that. There was another guy who worked at, at this place. I think he must have quit or something. I liked him. I'll have a conversation with him. Plus, he wasn't like twice my age. And uh, he gave me a, a Twisted Tea Rocket Pop for free. And I haven't seen him. I haven't even got a chance to thank him for it after 
you know, after he gave me it, and I thanked him, of course. But then after I tried, it, I didn't even get to tell him. I didn't even get to tell him how it tasted. He just gave it for me for free. Like this is this is mine personally. A guy came in here and he gave me these. You you want to try one, dude? No, it's it, yeah, have it. I was like, I really appreciate that, man. Thanks. I'm gonna I'm gonna try it and I tell you, I tell you how how it tastes. And I was in there one other time when he was in there, and uh, it was too busy. There's always some guy in there. Whenever there's another customer in there, it's a really small place, by the way. It's super small. Like if there's two other people. If there are two other customers, it's really cramped. It's extremely small. The other place is much bigger. They have better selections. Okay. I should go there. It's a nice walk. <laughs> it actually is nice. It's very peaceful. Anyway, um, this guy, like there's always a guy who smells. If there's another customer in there, he smells like an armpit. He smells like he just ran a marathon after waking up in a hot, beer sweat or something and, and and then he walked in this convenience store that's what he smelled like and and then this guy starts chatting up with me i again i just whatever, whatever i'm getting my crunch bar and my cookies and cream hershey i'm addicted to sugar by the way and uh this guy's like how about this weather man i make it sound like i live in a in texas he didn't even sound like that he just gave off those vibes he gave off those vibes um how about this weather, man? Literally the most boring weather you could imagine. It wasn't that hot and it wasn't raining or anything. It was the most random time to ever say, how about this weather, man? And like, I didn't even know what to say. So I just said, it seems fine. <laughs> I don't give a shit anymore. When I, I, I will, I used to be afraid to interact with people. The, the fear of being perceived. Oh, I'm shy. Not anymore. I don't care enough to be shy anymore. So I said, I, I said something like that. I wish I remembered. Like, it seems fine to me. <laughs> what do you like? And then he said, well, you try walking all the way across town. <laughs> You and then you see how you like it. He wasn't. I'm making it sound like he's. He said those words, but he said it in a more friendly way. I don't even know how to how to exclaim his voice. You know. Well, you try walking across town and you see see if you change your mind. I can I can already detect it with my senses that you walked across town and are having a hard time because of your sweat. I can already detect it. Okay. We don't. We didn't even need to have this conversation because I already could tell. I my, I knew your opinion on the weather the second I walked in, and I could feel the warm air get absorbed into my nostrils. Literally, the entire building, again small, smelled, and I could. It was hotter in there than it was outside. Normally, it's not. And he was wearing a sleeveless, a big open sleeve shirt. Come on. Come on, dude. You shouldn't have even left the house. And I walk in for or after him. And he's just standing around. Like, are you gonna are, do you want something? And then like the cashier's there. Okay, I'll put my fudge round or whatever up on the thing. Like, stay at home. Or shower and then go wherever you want. You can go wherever you want if you just shower, buddy. It wouldn't catch me dead leaving the house without deodorant. Or just, just I don't know, man. Some people can't help it. But I, my nose told me he could help it, all right? My nose told me. Anyway, I don't really want to harp on some guy's smell too long. But it does just about seem like it's time to wrap up this installment of the home button podcast and i just want to address some allegations about me i'm not an ai generated being okay there's a lot of people in some certain circles who are saying that this whole thing is like ai generated i'm not okay i was just reminded of that because the way i was talking sounded quite ai generated and i'm not i'm normal i'm a human being i've always been a human being and i think you should mind your business anyway regardless is 
as if I am or as if I am not. It's none of your business. All right. Yep, that about sums up everything. Um, the A plot. Do I have to wrap up the A plot? What did I say? Everything? Did I speak my piece? Yeah. One last thing about the A plot. A stream could be very engaging, but it's different when you are watching it back because there's a lot of fluff, you know, as opposed to a stage play, which I compared it to. It's maybe more like stand up, but it's it's engaging. It's interactive, you know, so like you're missing out on a lot of that. But even like even if you're not actively chatting in it, there is the potential to interact. Uh, and also just knowing it's live is different. You know, like I don't know. There's some people who claim that they watch back like a four hour, five hour VOD of someone's stream. Like, Oh, just watch the VOD. I hear it. And like in the discord servers and stuff like, I think you're lying. There's no way it depends on the streamer. But like, and they're probably skipping around if they do watch it. But man, I don't know. I don't, there's some streamers I like, but like I can't watch a VOD, really. You know, I'll go back and watch certain parts if I if I feel like I miss something or it depends what they do or whatever. But like I I I just my philosophy makes something permanent. I think that's better. You know, I think that's more enjoyable for the future. Think of it this way. Okay. Think of like this is sort of a weird opinion and sort of uh, uh, preventing this uh, podcast episode from ending. But like, think about, um, uh, I think in a similar way to um, filmmakers, okay? Like Christopher Nolan, okay? He makes his films like for the theater experience. You know, you can say this about Marvel movies too. Whether it's cinema or it's borderline uh, amusement ride attraction, you know? Uh, or somewhere in between. Um, if you want the theater experience, that's only going to happen for a short window of time. Mo- most people who watch your feature film will not watch it in the theaters. Think about Star Wars, you know? Way more people have seen that at home. It's m- kind of more of a home thing, you know, just because it, it came out in the 70s. You know, l- l- millions of people have seen that movie, you know? And uh, a lot of people, um, especially before the sequels came out, like they, like me personally, I think of watching that at home, like all the way back on VHS, to be honest. Uh, but I mean, when Phantom Menace came out, I was like a child, baby, couldn't even read, still can't read, as you know. But uh, like my memories of Star Wars before Force Awakens was like watching it at home. You know, watching on a portable DVD player, Revenge of the Sith, on a camping trip. That was a good time. I don't even think I don't even think the movie worked, to be honest. <laughs> Something about it didn't work. Oh yeah. <laughs> so we didn't watch it that night. But you know, I I watched Revenge of the Sith a lot. You know, that's that's a home experience in my memory. You know, obviously it depends on your age and all of that stuff. But uh yeah, they're making movies for. You know, I use Christopher Nolan as an example because you can't hear dialogue in his movies. I watched Tenet on my TV. I have a I have a speaker. I'm not most TV speakers are like really cruddy. Yeah, they're cruddy, and I have an external speaker. I can hear everything just fine, but not a Nolan movie. It's just like you can't understand what they are saying. You don't. You can't hear the words. You know, uh, and but apparently it sounds okay in the theater because the way it's mixed or something. Okay, we'll mix it better for the home release. I don't know what to tell you. You know what I mean? Fix it. Like I didn't see Tenet in the. Th- I watched Tenet this year over in my living room. Fix it because more people will watch it like that. You think there's a movie that's more than ten years old that more people have seen in the theater than at home? Avatar, the first Avatar, because then I mean I'm even including, no, I I'm saying people who watched it for the first time not in a theater. You know what I mean? 
whatever. You know what I'm saying, right? That making sense? Thank you for listening. This is uh, this has been Tefliff hosting the Home Button podcast. Okay, I'm. I should get a guest because now I'm making connections with people. You know what I mean? I can get a guest on here easy. I could. I could. I could get a guest on here easy. I, I don't know. I'm not a good fit talking to people. I work best on my own. If I rely on other people, there's uncalled variables. You know what I mean? It's different if those uncalled variables would be good, but it's when they're bad. You know what I mean? That's, I guess that's another thing with a stream. Like I was talking about the vibes. You know, it depends on the vibe. Because when the, the chat's funny, when the chat's good, I don't want to do anything. I couldn't even play a game streaming because I just got so distracted, you know? Oh, I love eating on stream, though. Mm. I'm getting hungry. I want those Pringles and the fudge round. Oh, man, I'm un- unhealthy, but that's okay. People do crack, okay? I can eat a can of Pringles, okay? You stop judging me. Anyway, I ate that whole pizza. I love that stream. That's my favorite stream. But again, that's it's just gone to time. I reference it in a video. You, know, you can make a stream and make videos, but then you're just making videos. And you have to keep doing the stream. You know what I mean? And then if you stop streaming, then you just disappear. It's, a, it's, it's unnerving to me. Make a video, it's there. You know what I mean? You get what I'm saying. But again, it's not about dying or disappearing. You know what's a weird thought? When I'm working on a video, I do think to myself, what if I die? Can I at least finish this and put it out and then die? Is that weird? I don't want to die. I really don't want to die. Life is all you have. and You can't waste it. You don't have to be productive. You don't have to build something. You just need to be happy. And to not spread any negativity. Because that's doing something. This is Tevlev with the Home Button Podcast. Thank you for listening.